Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and in today's video I want to do a cup battle. <laughs> I watched a lot of videos where booktubers compare the UK covers with US covers and like give them points who did it better. And I don't want to do this with UK or US covers. I want to use one cover from the English books, it can be the US or the UK covers, I don't know, and compare them to the German translations of the book. Um, because <laughs> the last couple of months, every time um, I see translations of books, I'm... there are a few books that you really start questioning what's happened here in Germany. I was on the hunt for books that I can um, can co compare the best to the English covers um, and I searched almost all the books that I read. Um, I have a few popular books on here um, that are older and then I have some newer books. Um, with newer I mean the books are already also like four to five years old because here in Germany it takes a lot of time before a book get translated. Um, the best example I can get to you now is um, Spoiler by Olivia Date. This book was published in 2020 um, in the English version and it's coming out this year in Germany. Um, and the next thing is it this got translated. There are a lot of books out um, that are English books that are not even get translated in the German version. And when I was on the hunt for books that I can show you, show you now here, um, I realized that a lot of books that I read in the last year, the last one and a half years, when I read the translation, the, the, the cover didn't change that much. They, um, they, they keep the same cover and just translated the, um, the title name of the title of the books or um, they they change the English title to a different English title. Um, but that's not the matter of the video. So I had a lot of research, um, so this is why um, I show you now um, a few books that are old now, that are like 10 years old, 15 years old, and are really popular ones, because this is the only books that I can really find. And also I'm looking at books that I personally own, maybe that I'm currently reading, or that I read in the last couple of months, um, so I didn't research like other books that I don't know of. Also, it's a little bit more funny to look at book covers um, that I already read, so maybe I get some hints on the cover what is like going on in the story. Um, and I have a few books, um, so I would say let's get started. And I really, shot this claim in the beginning, I really tried to find good German covers. So I can um, also show you um, a book cover where I, where I think, wow, this German cover is so much better than the English one. I try, okay? The first book that I want to show you is The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue. So we have two um, book covers on the Eddie LaRue, who is the most popular ones. And the version that I have here, um, it's then right behind me. I, actually, I have both covers that are on the market I have here because I have two editions of the book. I think the, the book by Tor Books is the U US version and you have here the um, the black cover with the seven stars um, with the star constellation which are Eddie's freckles. Um, oh, this is always mentioned in the book like oh, I have seven freckles. Um, yeah and this is on the cover. I think this was the U Yes, version and the UK version is um, a little bit more floral. You have like these, this is the Netherlands one. You have like the strings on the back, um, but also like with dots. It's not really connected with each other, but it, it, there are seven dots on the cover who are the freckles and a little bit of flowers. It's cute, and <laughs> I also have like the special edition here, it's standing here in the back. And when we go to the German one, I don't even know what to say. 
because I don't fucking know what's going on here. Um, bonus points um, that they didn't, um, yeah, that they didn't change the English title to a different English title, but it stops there. Like, um, I don't know what kind of witch situation it's this is. Like, why is there a person in in this bowl, in this glass bowl? Um, it's it's giving me Wattpad vibes, um, but in a bad way. I uh, the font, like, it's it's bad. Um, this is why the points get into the the English covers. It's I I don't care if you take the US or the UK version. Um, you can discuss everything that you want, which cover is uglier than the other one. Um, but if you um, keep talking about the US or UK covers, which one is uglier, keep in mind that this German cover exists. This was the first book. The next book that I have, um, I noticed the covers um, in my all my unread books video. I my original plan was to insert all the links to every book that I have, um, and I searched the the German translations for that, and that I can um, link the German book also in it for my German video. And this is where I noticed the 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 ugliest cover that I ever seen in my fire talking life. Um, if you think the Eddie Lerou one is bad, let's talk about Carry On by Rainbow Roll. Um, Carry On, I didn't read it so far, it's still on my um, want to read list, I have a physical copy of that. Um, it's a, I think, it's a fantasy with two boys, I think this was a white list because there's an LGBTQI plus representation in it, I think both of them are getting into each other, but I don't know. But we have like this comic situation on it, I, I normally I hate persons on covers, but I um, prefer um, I really like like comic versions of people on the cover. I really like this kind of style. I I'm here for it. Um, and you see the backgrounds, you see the dragon, and it's really colorful. I love the purples. Um, it's it's great. It, it's looking good. Um, and I don't know if this is the UK or US version. Um, you have also the other cover, which is like this blue and yellow situation. It's from the same publishers. I don't know what is going on, but I definitely prefer this cover. Then you have the German one. I also don't know what to say. This is this is so ugly, I want to cry. I mean, what the fuck is going on here? You have you have this fucking book, and it looks like this this not this not this looks not like a YA fantasy book. This looks like a middle grade book um, from two thousand four, and in in its worst way. No, this is this is so bad. Like the covers, this is this is really bad. This is so bad. So the points go to the um, the cover that I have the, the English cover. Um, the points go to them <laughs> because uh, this is this is ugly. This is really ugly. And I really tried to find good books. Okay, I I didn't look up like the ugliest German covers that you ever seen in your fire, entire fucking life. I looked up all the books that I have and I read in the last couple of um, in the last two years I think and want to look up which covers covers are translated and these are the only cover that are different okay but the next one is Serpent and Duff. Serpent and Duff I really enjoy um I wasn't a big fan of the series I read the complete series but I was a big not a big fan of it um but I really 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 like the covers of it I um, this was the main thing that I bought all of them because the covers are stunning you have this black Situation going on with the feathers and the, the the this gold snake on the cover. I really like it. I also like the other covers from Blood and Honey, and then also from Gods and Monsters. It's it's stunning, and I also enjoy like that the snake is always the end symbol, and so you have on each cover you have the same kind of situation that's going on. Um, you have the same kind of simple on the covers so you will see that this is connected with each other 
I really like it. And then you have the German covers. <sighs> what in the what pad is going on? It's so bad. Um, first of all, they changed the English title to a different English title. Zero points for that, minus points for that. Um, s s F, sit down and cry in the corner because this is already bad. Um, I still haven't figured out why this book, first book is called Game of Gold and I read the books. So I don't know why. Um, the second one is called Game of Blood and the last one is Game of Souls. I understand why the second and the third book is called like that. But it's still not an excuse why you change the English title to a different English title. And then also, like, first of all, there's a read person on the cover. Already zero points for that. I hate repeated people on the cover. Um, then this glittery kind of situation. Ugly. The F Game of Gold book is, is at least like... Um, with this purple undertone is okay, but it gets worse with each book. So I will give the points to the original covers, the English covers, because no, just fucking no. It's really ugly. Shut up. Let's go to one of also my favorite series. Um, is the Red Queen series by Victoria Everard. Um, the the funniest thing is that. I really like the English covers, okay? You have um, four books in the, in the series and each book gets darker. And I follow Victoria Everard on TikTok and she explained that this was actually on purpose, that they, um, each book gets darker because the content that is in a book um, gets darker with each book. Like the first one is really like the typical kind of, a kind of YA fantasy that we all know. Um, you have, okay, kind of the chosen one, you have the love triangle, um, you get all this stuff that is like YA fantasy and the cover is really bright. And, but you already have like um, the red blood on the cover, which is kind of the symbol for um, Mare who is, has red blood and not silver blood and she's the red queen. Which is kind of why the title is also Red Queen. And then the next books um, get darker with each time. And I really, really, really enjoy it. And I hope this is the only kind of editions that I exist in this world. And this is the... Like, uh, there are so many... Look, there are so many translations of this book out, okay? You have the Spanish version. They keep the same covers. You have Portuguese. Um, I also have the same covers. Um, just with different titles. Italian, same cover. Polish, same cover. Romanian, same cover. And there and there is Germany. Um, I keep them. They are right here next to me. First of all, the first one is tinier than the other one. But I hated that you have, first of all, a real person again on the cover. Um, you get like the main symbol of the books. Um, you have this little symbol on the covers, like with the little crown. But it's so it it, it looks so off because the 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 cover, um, the the title name is so big, the person is so big, and then this crown is so tiny. It looks big on the digital cover, but when you have like, wait, I show you. This looks it looks okay, but when we get to the other books, it gets worse. You have the sword. It it's so ugly because and then it, King's Cage was even bad because more bad because the the the, the, the cage is so tiny, like. A cage is big, then there needs to be a fit of human inside. And then the last one. I wish that they remove the little symbols on the book and just keep like the, uh, the person only on the cover and remove it and then keep the book also get darker. Like the first one is really red and then get 
you, you get it, but also why did you change the cover like that? Every other country on this fucking planet who translated the Red Queen series um, in their language keep the cover from the English publishers. So why did you change it? Points go to the English covers. Um, now I have a book series that I didn't talk that much here on my channel, but I actually kind of enjoy it. I still need to read the last book, then I'm also done with the series. And this is the Bring Me Their Hearts series by Sarah Wolf. I actually enjoy the books a lot. The cover looks really different. Okay, there are two different English covers. Um, the first one is um, like this one. You have um, the comic version of a person who I know a person who looks exactly like that. That's creepy. But you have the comic version. Um, it's actually cute, but I can't remember this English title. So this is why I bring this up. Um, I have this in my mind. Um, this one here with the white whatever this is um, on the cover. It looks creepy. And then you have the German version. I will recover. I'm a person on the cover, but it's also again like this kind of comic. Not really comic version, but like it is illustrated kind of situation. Um, it looks more like a computer game person. And I really enjoyed the cover. I like it really much. This was a book that I only bought because I found these covers. Um, when I would see the like the original English cover that I sh the first cover that I show you, I would also buy this one. Um, but I have this with a white um, raven on my in my mind um, for the original English covers. So the points will go definitely to um, to the German covers this time. And I also um, maybe zero point for that being that they changed the English title to a different English title, which is heartless um, because it was unnecessary. The next one would be uh, The Hiding Game by Sally Thorne. So I didn't like the English title, the English covers. I don't like it. Um, it, it is also like comic style and I like it, but the comics, the person that are like drawing this comic kind of situation looks so weird. Um, not in a cute way, like in a bad way, like really bad um, illustration skills. Um, so I thought it was bad. I don't like the covers. This is why I listen to this in audiobook and don't want to have a physical copy of it. I also didn't enjoy it that much that I want to have a physical copy of it now. And then I now for research if this book is translated, um, I found a translation. And it's so bad. First of all, the, 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 the cover looks... Uh, if you ignore the title, let's let's only look at the cover. First of all, two real persons on the cover. This is even worse than one real person on the cover because there are two real persons on the cover. But at least you can see their face. Then the, the man, uh, he wears like a suit because it's a office romance story. So I get that. Um, also like she, you can't see her really that much. So. Um, I can give her zero points for her outfit. Um, I don't like his um, like his shirt that he's wearing because um, the stripes on it, like a plain white thing, would be better. No, 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 but the stripes. But then the title. If you want to translate the title from the German cover directly into English, it would be Kiss Me Bastard. The points go to the English covers. Thank you. Um, then we have a book here that I read for the Trilaton. The, the book that I am talking to about is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. Um, I enjoyed it. I give it four stars. The English version is like this um, blue cover with the stripes on it. Um, it's a real person. I don't like that, like I said. Also, um, it's it's not a bad cover at all. But I actually in really enjoyed the, the German cover of it. They changed the title to um, not a different English title. Um, when you want to translate the German title, it will be Black Sea. And on the cover, you see um, like this huts in the background. The sea, 
this kind of thing where you can stand on to get to a boat and then you see um, the illustration, the, the shadow of three girls and this, I like this really much, This I like this cover so much because first of all you don't have a real person on the cover, you, um, when you look at the cover you see on the cover was standing on the synopsis on the back that three girls are on this sea with the huts and then they're gone missing. Um, like it's it's it gives you a little bit of excitement that I like it when you can see what's happening on the book on the cover and it's not only it's just a plain thing. And I really like it so the points go to German covers because I think theirs is a great kind of work. The, the, the next one is a tricky so kind of situation. It's the Prairie of the Orange Tree. So the Prairie of the Orange Tree um is a book, it's a standalone fantasy. Um I think we get a prequel in the next couple of months. But um, this will not affect the, uh, the the story of the book. It will still be a standalone. And you have I like the I like really the, the English cover. You have the blue dragon on it, um, the tower, the orange um, background. I really like it. Um, this is a stunning cover. And the the, the German one. There's not the big of a difference. Like. The German cover and the German book um, is split into two halves. You have the first um, book, which is part one, two, three, I think, and the next one, and um, the second part um, book is the part four to five, I think. Were there even five parts in it? Um, it uh, this is definitely split. So the first half of the book is also this yellow, orange situation, but the second book is blue, and. The blue one is so stunning because of the um, the dragon. So more of this kind of bronze situation. It's not not the blue one anymore, and they look really good next to each other. Um, because you have the yellow orange situation um, with the blue dragon on it. When you stand right next to the blue one, you have like the blue from the blue dragon into this one, and. It's like this yellowy bronze dragon on the blue cover. So I really like it that they didn't just publish like the second of the book with the same cover that are the like the yellow one, like the first one. And I really wish that the original book is in this blue cover because it looks really stunning. So I give the points to Germany for that. Now we're getting to books that are old, but I want to talk about them. The first one is the Dark Element series from Jennifer Launtrout. So <laughs> the English cover is ugly, I think. You have the first of all the title is White Hot Kiss. Um, it's it's a bad title. You have like the 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 snake kind of skin of it and the flames. It's a. Uh, I would say it's giving me also what pet style, um, in a bad way. I don't know what's 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 even worse the. The, the, the English title, the, 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 the one edition with like the, the, the flames and the, the, the snake skin or the, uh, or the cover with, with the two persons that are almost kissing on the, co of the cover. And then we have like um, the, the German covers. It's similar to the Red Pink series, not, not really similar. But you have more um, the kind of symbol is going on with the um, wing on it. And the good thing is that it, every book looks almost the same. The only difference is the, the color of the book. So the first one is like this, this green one. Then the next one is more like this purple one. And I think it's, it's more beautiful because first of all you don't have the kind of mixture of texture on the cover with the with the snake skin and the flames like you have always like this one element and then the other thing on it or the real persons you have like solid book covers that have look always the same almost with just with different um, colors like I liked it when the book each book has a different color so you know that you have the next book in the series um, with the like kind of wing symbol on the cover without a real person and it's taking all the space of the cover it's not like a tiny one that's on top of the font of the of the title name no it's taking up all the space that you have 
on the cover use your space that you could have. So I really like that. Um, so the points go to Germany. The next thing is that also the this, the um, the spin-off series um, has also the the same cover, so they fit with each other. They didn't change the um, the covers for the spin-off series, which is great. And that was it. Um, keep in mind that there are a lot of books out there that are translated, and the the title the the cover is not that far away. Like um, almost. All the other books have the same cover, like they have in in the English one, so it's not that bad. The clear winner of the situation um, with the book covers is in the English covers. I don't know US or UK. Um, we ignore that, but they have one point more, I think, at this point. The English ones are the winner. I don't know the the illustrator for the English covers. Um, they have a good. They they are great. Um, I also like that you have all the time a lot of difference between the covers. When I look in the German section of books that are published in the German um, in the German in Germany, that are German books and only out in German, um, they have all the similar kind of vibes. You have, um, especially with the same publisher, you have books that looks always are always almost the same. I get so many questions where I only read in um, this mom um, at the moment in English. Um, it's because that because I want to read books, and there is no book out yet in 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 the German version. Like all the books that I have currently on my TBR, um, are not out in German. When I look here at this table, these one in the nights by Chloe Gong is not out in German. Um, I think they're translating this now, but only as a Kindle version. Okay. Um, because no other publishers want that. These were in the lights. This was a best-selling book. Okay, this was the video. I hope you enjoyed the time. If you want more of that kind of style, please tell me and I will film more because this was actually fun to search for different editions of the book. And if you want to, I know that I talk about in a video about the UK or US versions of a book or from different countries, um, let me know in the comments and then I will link everything down in the description down below what you need to know and then I will see you in my next video. Bye!